I have a question to you. Today is about conch. Why conch to do uh, in the gong bath or uh, sound therapy? What's the purpose? What's the effect? Why people play it? And before that, please subscribe our video and uh, uh, give us some love and comments. Well, conch shell is um, a fascinating instrument that we use mm. in sound therapy. Um, this is a got an extraordinary history from all around the world. Mm -hmm. I saw this map recently that a colleague of mine in England, I think oh, it was yes. somebody had... He the collector. <laughs> was it, I don't know, certainly he had the map. I don't know whether he drew it, mm -hmm. but it showed you all the coastlines. Of, if you imagine that a map of the world, viewers, uh -huh. and then virtually all the coastlines of the world mm -hmm. in all the continents, mm -hmm. virtually all of them had, um, you can find these giant conch shells, different sorts in different parts of the world, mm -hmm. and bands actually, mm -hmm. different latitudes had, even in different continents had similar mm -hmm. uh, conch shells. Um, and so they've been around for thousands of years. Oh, and it's yeah. not surprising it's that the history. people pick them yeah, up. Historical. Um, they either naturally had a hole in the end or they, they just cut yeah. a hole in the end, yeah. put it in them and blew it. Blew, and it yeah. had this amazing sound. Yeah. And it's a very, it's yeah. a very na back to nature sound for yeah. me. It's very. And you know why in the history, uh, in the ancient time, they used that as a signal. Indeed, yeah, because it's extremely it's, loud. Yeah, very loud. You know, yeah. I mean, if you stand on the top of a hill and play mm -hmm. on a clear day, or with the wind mm -hmm. in the right direction, all that, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Um, the other thing it's used in shamanic rites, isn't it? It's got mm -hmm. a very, it's a shamanic tool mm -hmm. um, it, that's used. Um, yeah. I think in traditions all over the world that mm -hmm. I've, I, that, that certainly that I know mm -hmm. about, um, that we come across, and we and also the Buddhism, yep. Kong Shou is right. very absolutely. precious yeah, and a uh, very good offering yeah. in the yeah. righteous in the you know Buddhism, um, yeah. and uh, the conch shells come depending on where they come from, can be quite small mm. and enormous. And the enormous yeah, ones really do have big, this great low, <laughs> you know, like foghorn type yeah. of sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they've got a shamanic, um, uh, the power of them, it's not surprising really, they're used in shamanic ritual at, at, at all. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing to say about them, you've just plonked this into my hand, is how, is how beautiful some of them can yeah. be. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was attracted to this one to start with. Can you see this, viewers? How gorgeous be, it is. Bigger in my face. Yeah, uh, <laughs> but how beautiful it is. Yeah. Um, and many of them are beautiful. And I thought this was really, it actually makes a lovely sound. Um, and also the, the other thing that's worth pointing out is that, you know, I mean, hole. they're like natural trumpets, aren't they? There's been a whole cut there. Mm -hmm. This hole has been cut by a squeal craftsman, so they didn't mm -hmm. split the shell. The shell's quite thick, but I mean, if you didn't do it right, you could easily spit it and spoil the whole thing. Many people, you get these in shell shops, and people just put them on their sideboard to make it to look pretty in their house. Mm -hmm. And you could certainly do with this. Well, we've got this up on our shelf, and it looks very nice, mm -hmm. but it does make a lovely sound. And I'm not going to play it now. We've got some video but all you do it's a kind yeah. of a raspberry sound that mm -hmm. you make it's sort of louder like, trumpet yeah. um, why we use it in the sound therapies um sound therapy right we use okay this? well um we also use we could also use them in they're they're kind of ceremonial aren't they mm -hmm. but in in it, you can we can yeah. make it as a mask that uh you know one <laughs> thing about <laughs> One thing that I can actually demonstrate, I'm not going to play it, uh -huh. but I can demonstrate, if you just turn around this way, oh, yeah. that we can, in, we're talking about sound therapy here, uh -huh. um, playing it up and down the, the back, yeah, the spine, the spine uh -huh. 
is a is a, have you ever had that done to you? Oh, yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, I, it really I love is. it. Yeah. Anyway, really, really powerful. In the, the other thing that mm -hmm. I love, that's for one to one. Yeah, that's the twenty to one. people. The other you couldn't thing do. that I really <laughs> love to do. It yeah. doesn't matter what size the space that you're praying mm -hmm. your gongs in. If you've got gongs of any size, um, and you play the the conch shell into the gong. Oh, in other yeah. words, close to it, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, either side, you know, straight mm -hmm. on is good, but you mm -hmm. can play it sideways on. Mm -hmm. um, if you've got gongs sort of, depending on how they're set up, it will bounce, but create this oh, yeah. amazing... The entrainment, yeah. The impact, the... The entrainment video. It's kind of entrainment, but it's uh -huh. also just a reflective. Uh -huh. You know, a gong's a highly reflective surface, like a, a mirror. A mirror, yeah. And the sound will bounce back off it and yeah. create this amazing yeah. we got a, kind of uh, short clip in the end. Yeah. And also, some ceremony, we use conch. Yeah, we do. Special I mean, event, yeah. huh? Yeah. And there's this wonderful, I mean, it's kind of a ceremonial, mm -hmm. um, I think, you know, it's used in shamanic practices where you do the the, the points of the four points of the compass. Mm -hmm. um, it's kind of to open a spiritual space and to close it through as a as a way of creating east, a ritualistic east, space. East, west, north, yeah. south, is four directions. Um, so and use the conch as a opening in the, in the is. ceremony. That's yeah. right, and mm -hmm. a closing. And, a and closing. if you do this in mm -hmm. a natural environment rather than a, a room, mm -hmm. it's really amazing. Mm -hmm. I think particularly, I don't know why yeah. it's that kind of thing is more effective in a in kind of a because you know, Kang Shao come a, from nature yeah, so. and in the nature something to do yeah. with standing mm -hmm. on earth. Yeah, doing it mm -hmm. in under trees or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and that is yeah. an amazing. Uh, I mean, I've always felt very really, that really powerful. I remember the very first time I experienced that and thought, mm -hmm. "What is this? It's really something." And it really focused everybody's minds yeah. on what whatever the 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 practice that we were doing. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. Yeah. So can you tell us what's the uh, other instrument they go with uh, conch shell in the sound therapy? Well, you know, you know, Ling, that one of my hobbies, <laughs> if you like, no, something I enjoy doing, which is um, seeing merit. what instruments go together, mm -hmm. you know, a combination of two or three instruments that go together and that we can kind of feature in a gong bath that aren't gongs or that go nicely with the gongs. Well, we've already said that the 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 conch shell can sound great when you play into the gong. gong you get this yeah. wonderful reverberation. Mm -hmm. But this, well, we've got, they're actually sort of shamanic -y, if that's yeah. a horrible word I've just invented, but they kind of uh, instruments of power, let's call mm -hmm. them, um, so, that I as. tend to go with them. Um, how about the rain stick? Have you got the rain, rain stick here? Stick. Yeah. Hey. What's the rain stick? This is called mimics, rain stick. Rain stick mimics the sound of the rain. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and what other instrument? Um, I think that goes nicely. We've got something allied to that. We've got a thunder box. Oh, here. Yeah, this which is just called... sounds like the thunder. We're playing all the instruments except the, the conch. Um, uh, the thing, yes. one of the things about the conch is it's so loud, it's going to blow our microphones to kingdom become. We'd have to do it separately. Yeah. Um, how about this shamanic shaker that we've got that's really powerful okay. anyway? And this is my job. I do this. Do you know how's this? Do you know how big it is? Look. This is not for pen <laughs> to sign the country. <laughs> this is a wide bird, very big bird. People, uh, the people tell people tell me this is not eagle, but it's bigger. You see how big. Yeah, so these are all kind of shamanic -y, my new word, horrible word, but it the actually sums up that the, these kind of... Nice um, things. And of course okay. the shamanic, the what is become known now as the shamanic drum, the frame drum, which is a topic that we're going to talk about in another yeah. video. Mm -hmm. um, but these kind of shamanic type instruments, they've all got this kind of ritualistic uh, ceremonial yeah. background mm -hmm. and they combine very well, mm -hmm. basically. Not only and, the um, uh, shamanic uh, similar background, also Powerful. Yeah. Powerful doesn't mean uh, no. loud, like the feather. Those feathers are not loud. And the other thing, powerful. actually, mm -hmm. to, uh, um, 
again, this conch shell is a topic we can talk for a long time about, but you, they don't necessarily have to be played very loud. Mm -hmm. um, they can be played sort of, uh, uh, I wouldn't say softly, but sort of more, more softly than sort of a big blast. Mm -hmm. And then you can also play them percussively by putting mm, them on the yeah. top. There's various mm -hmm. things that you yep. can do yep. that, that mm -hmm. um, complement the actual mm -hmm. basic sort of blasting sound that they make. Mm -hmm. They're more subtle an instrument than yeah. some, perhaps some people mm -hmm. may think. Mm -hmm. And yeah. particularly when you're combining with with other instruments, you mm -hmm. can um, do you can bring out the subtleties more mm -hmm. when you do that, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so here is our short clip. You finish? I think so. <laughs> no, I'm never finished. <laughs> never, but yeah, it's never when you finished. want to shut me up. <laughs> so here is our short clip of so the Kang Xiao. We play in the online gong bass. Oh, of, yes. of course, we play the real gong bass, but these days we play more uh, gong bass online for the subscribers, for people um, you know, quarantine or they, are, they couldn't come to the gong bass. If you are in interested about our online gong bass, you can enjoy anytime, anywhere, only as your mobile device with a good speaker and a or headphone, you can check the QR code here. So here or down below, <laughs> down as we below. all say. <laughs> and uh, um, uh, here's a short clip from the uh, online gong bass, hope you like it, uh, related to the, uh, the conch. Gordon played the conch, I play other instruments. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>